Hello everybody, this is Diane. Welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, as you can see, I have my domestic arts journals here in front of me. I have finished embellishing the pages and I'm over here away from my sewing machine for this part. Although I will probably need to use it for some of the things I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it today. I'm tired of sewing. I sewed the pages together for four journals and I've sewn the embellishments on and I'm tired of sewing. So I'm going to do something that doesn't involve sewing right now. Um, so what we're going to do today is make embellishments or even just find embellishments or um, I mean ephemera to put into the pockets. So we worked on this one yesterday, one of the signatures, so let's just continue with that. I do have all of the yummy pages done and um, constructed and embellished. <clears throat> so I'm going to set these aside and I'm just going to take, oh let's do this one. No. We'll stick with this. I think we worked on this signature for embellishing. So now we need to find some ephemera for in here. So I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to make ephemera with, or I can use to make ephemera. Um, so I have these cards that somebody sent me, and I've been hoarding them, but I think they are perfect to put in there. How about that? And right on the back, um, I may sew a fabric tab onto that, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, and here we have a pocket, so I need something to put in there. I brought with me over here, I have things from the books, the pages from the books that I cut up to make these journals. So I do want to make some ephemera with these. And I did use some of these little things as I embellished the pages. But I have them here in case I want more. I need something a good size for this pocket. That's kind of cute. This is on the cover of the Machine Stitchery book think you would, this is something you would have a part to tuck under your mattress. No, not mattress. I don't think you would do this stuff in bed. <clears throat> anyway, it's to hold your supplies. I have some large flashcards. And because it sinks down in there, I would put a tab on that too. But let's just do a paper one. I've got some paper tabs here. I like this one. daughter and her family are going to be coming to take me out to dinner for my birthday and I, I don't know where we're going it's a surprise my daughter always comes up with fun things she is big on making memories okay so with that fits in there nicely and I like the houndstooth check with that. I tied some yarn. I think maybe I did that on the video, didn't I? We have a pocket here. You can access it better from this side. Um, 
let's see. I have these craft cards that are German that my friend sent me. That fits in there nicely. I think we'll do that, and I don't have to do anything to it. I'll just slip it right in there. Maybe I'll add one of these household hint type of books, or cards. There's a housekeeping card I'll tuck in there. I want to keep this phase really simple, if I can, because I've put a lot of time into these journals. This is just sewn on there. You can write on that. And we have a pocket here. So this is going to take a large something. I have these tall cards and I think that might be too tall. But I could trim it off, couldn't I? Let me see how that looks. Yeah, I'll just trim a little bit off it. I think somebody sent me these also. I have some of these large cards that I have in my shop, but I'd have to trim them quite a bit. These are the little booklets that somebody sent me. I love these. And I used one of the pages, this one, this page, is from these books. I think there were three or four of them. But I love on the back that they're little, actually, in rectangular cards that I can cut out. So I can use some of those <clears throat> as ephemera also. Let's see, I've got some more stuff behind me that I might... Oh, okay, we need to look at this stuff. I've got these... That was just my paper trimmer. I can cut this up. That might be fun in there. It might be big enough. But I want to make sure I use some of these little books. And I have these pieces that I made previously for a different journal and they didn't get used. Well, I have a taller journal, so I might save that for one of the taller ones. Your Household Guide. just fold this and tuck it in there to give you some help with your house cleaning. And here we have a clear pocket. So I thought it would be nice to put something from one of the magazines in there and it'll be pretty. I also have these pages that came out of a vintage planner uh, appointment book and it's the date on the calendar here is 1949. Maybe I could put one of these pretty ladies in there.
I think maybe these booklets are from the 70s. I don't remember if there was a date on them. But the styles look like they're from the 70s. She looks lovely in there. And we need something big in here. This is the book from this cover. I'm gonna, I wanted a black and white but with design on it because there's so much books. I thought a little black and white might be called for once in a while. That's why there's some white pages. And I have some white cardstock in here. So I'm just going to glue this needs to be a little shorter. I'm going to glue this to the white card stock and it will just be a large journaling card. Oh, I, I forgot. This goes only that far. So I'm going to cut some more off of that. too far but I'm gonna glue it to this and then I will put some sort of a tab on it the glue would squirt out. I was trying to keep it off of all the stuff that's littering my table. I tell you, I'm having fun making these journals, but I will be glad when I can clean the mess up and do something a little simpler. I haven't been putting stuff in my shop. I thought I would be able to get the placemat and a lot of the stuff that I got at the flea market on Monday I thought I'd be able to get a lot of that in the shop but I don't want to list it because right now because my um, table that I use for packing orders is covered with stuff for these journals so I want to finish the journals and get that stuff picked up so I can have free space for doing all the other stuff I need to do so if you were one that was waiting for me to get that stuff listed, a lot of the placemats have been spoken for. So if you're watching this and you're waiting, just be patient. I'll get there. I don't normally reserve stuff like that. I just list it in my shop when I'm ready to but so many people wanted those placemats. I still have some that I can put in the shop though. So that was just a scrap of wallpaper that I turned into a tab. And now you know there's something in there to pull out. 
That takes care of that signature. That wasn't so bad. Let's move on. What did I do with my book? Oh, I set it over here out of the way. Alright, we have a pocket right on the front here. of grapes. I should have removed the staple, but I was impatient. Just do the same thing again. These pockets are larger than pockets in most of my journals because the journals are so big. So I'm having to make large ephemera pieces. And I may so um, fabrics and bits to some of these things. I'm just filling the pockets today and probably won't do all of the journals today because I have to get ready to go for my birthday dinner. But I'll probably go back when I'm not sick of my sewing machine again and add some little bits to these, some of these cards anyway, not all of them. a large tab. something in here. So this is one that was sealed. I'm just going to glue this piece of the flap down and I cut the end so that something can go in there. So in here I can use some of the smaller things that I have. Oh, look at this. This is already glued to cardstock. I should use that as a tuck spot somewhere. This is a needle book that I made a copy of. Either that or I printed it. I don't I don't know if I have this needle book or if Oh, sorry. Potential spam. At least they at least they have the courtesy to 
my, uh, my phone has the courtesy to tell me that it's potential spam. Anyway, I don't know if this was a printable or if I actually have this needle book. I do have some needle books with my stuff I'm collecting to scan, but I don't know if I have this one. It's a little small. That works. And this is a postcard. I think we'll use them. it right here. This one is already made. It's a plant card with some guest checks on it and a little piece of chenille. Let's use that. I have one here and I want it to be something pretty because it will show through. much better. When that glue dries, I will round the corners. And I'll probably sew something at the top of that. Maybe I can tuck that little needle case in there. I have a pocket here. Some of the pa some of the signatures, well, all of the signatures have wallpaper, but a couple of them have, in different books, have large wallpaper envelopes that Cindy made for me. Your household guide. There are no pictures in this book. It's from 1951, so it's just full of tips like those little cards that I have. This is tips on, all these are different tips having to do with baking. And there's some on the back too. I do this. 
To see whether old yeast is still good, put it in warm water with a teaspoon of sugar and stir. If it begins to foam in 10 minutes, you can use it with your flour right away. I do that when, I, when I'm making bread and I want to... I buy a big um, pack of yeast from Sam's Club instead of the little packs at the grocery store that you little envelopes. I, I bought them one time. Well, I used to use them all the time. But I bought them for the purpose of measuring to see how much is in one pack. So when it when the recipe says two packets of yeast, I would know. It's two and a half teaspoons in one packet of yeast. So if I'm using a recipe that calls for two, of course I use five teaspoons. So it is a much better bargain, even though I usually, I think always, end up throwing out some of the yeast because it has expired, it doesn't work anymore. It's still a much better bargain to buy it. In the, it's a pack like that. It's a vacuum sealed little bag at Sam's Club. And I just uh, pour it into a little Tupperware container that I bought for the purpose. Like real Tupperware, the expensive stuff because I know that seals really good. And I keep it in my fridge. So there you go. So I always test it um, with sugar to see if it's still good. The sugar feeds the yeast and then it foams if it's still active. that I can put her on. She's cute. Obviously I cut her out of a, a tatting book because her collar has tatting on it. This is probably too big. the bottom. My sewing machine did not like this. I forgot that um, there's a sticky strip here. You have to peel that off to stick it down and seal your envelope. Cindy put that on there. And I forgot that it was there, and I sewed through it, and my sewing machine didn't like it. But I left the messy stuff there. There's not a lot of space for writing in these large books because they're pretty much all the pages have stuff on them. And I've embellished them a lot. But there are lots of pockets. So I'm putting something in each pocket and you can add more. You could add more index cards to this pocket to give you more to write on. Oops. And you can also glue paper down that you can write on here, here. You can write on this. This is one of the circles that I punched out of that one quilt book. If you saw the video where I was prepping my stuff. So I did that. I need something in this pocket. colorful. Does this fit? Oh yes. That is from a children's book 
and they're learning about pints and quarts. But I think I'm going to trim a little bit off it so it fits in better. That was something that I had pre prepared in a, for a different project. I got card in there. So I and when I embellished the pages, I added this. The front part of this card was um, when when it would. I forgot what it is. A snag fixer, I think. But when you took whoever bought it took the thing off the front of it, the blister pack, it tore the, the front. So it didn't look attractive, but I did like this and I just sewed it, sewed this lace on it and sewed it on as a tuck spot. I have these little index cards that already have tabs on them. Oh, that's cute. that needle book in there. And this. This is one of the elements that I cut out of the book. Little crocheted flower. I had a bunch of them. There's a, they called them motifs. And they were pink, so, you know, had to have them. And that's just a little piece of uh, bias tape. This is um, the loyalty stamps, the shopper stamps, like the green stamps, except these are yellow. So that signature has its stuff in it. I just have one more to do for this book. Again, I have a tall spot here. I think I have a flashcard that'll work. I want to make sure I use some of the iron on transfer things. First thing I need to do is find a card that will fit in there. Oh, is this more spam? It's more local. I'll let it go to voicemail. That's not something I want to use. getting phone calls when I'm making a video. All right, how about this card? Okay, I'll just trim a little off it. Oh, I wonder if it was my granddaughter. Wishing me a happy birthday. It's from her area. <laughs> I feel bad that I didn't answer it if it was her. If it was her, I will definitely call her back. But she doesn't usually call. She just texts if she wants to say anything to me. She's the one that just graduated from high school. She does not call me 
or text very often. So I think I will just, I'm going to use this. I'm going to put some tape on there and lay my transfer down and then trim around it. voicemail, whoever it was. I'll probably sew a tab on that. This one has, let me see what time it is. Oh, I've got to get ready to go. This one has a tab, a pocket right here. There's a knitting chart. My goodness, I'm getting all kinds of notifications. put both of those in there and I will adhere them to something but yeah I'll do that before I go I've got time to do that this is also something I cut out of one of the books and this is what my placemats are that I just bought the minor that I just bought like 15 inch across placemats but this is the pattern cool I got them at the flea market that's what I need to get into my shop. They were handmade and hand quilted. I think they were probably machine pieced, but the quilting was done by hand. And they were done very nicely. So you know what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to cut those out and stick them in that little pocket. Let's see what other pockets I have to do. This one is not a pocket. It's just sewn on. There is a pocket right here. I made this little pocket out of an old needle case. Um, needle packet. Just tuck that in there. There's a vellum pocket here. And there's a little, no, oh, that's not a pocket. It's just added to the edge of that. But there is a big pocket here. Did I put one of those big cards in this book yet? Where did they go? I just had them here. How could I possibly lose anything on this table that's jam-packed full of stuff? Here. There's a little table. So if I trim that, I think it'll fit. I 
tried to look for images that would go with the domestic arts theme. So household items, kitchen items, cleaning items, I put in here. Need to make it a little shorter. I do have others of these cards tucked into the big pockets and I sewed a fabric tab to them so I'll probably do that there. And here we have two um, pockets that I'll need to put something in. There's another pocket and another pocket. So I've got quite a few pockets in this signature at Phil. But I'm going to go get ready for my birthday dinner and uh, see what my voicemail is and I will be with you again soon I hope. Have a creative day. Bye bye.